So leader election is important for a distributed systems to auto recover from failures. In this video, we take a detailed look into a simple, naive and intuitive distributed leader election algorithm called LCR and understand how simple yet effective this algorithm can be. But before we move forward, I'd like to talk to you about a course on system design that I've been running for over a year now. The course is a cohort based course, which means I won't be rambling a solution and it will not be a monologue. Instead, a small focus group of 50-60 engineers every cohort will be brainstorming systems and designing it together. This way, we build a solid system and learn from each other's experiences. The course to date is enrolled by 600 plus engineers spanning 9 cohorts and 10 countries. Engineers from companies like Google, Microsoft, GitHub, Slack, Facebook, Tesla, Yelp, Flipkart, Dream11 and many 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 more have taken this course and have some wonderful things to say. The coolest part about the course is the depth we go into and the breadth we cover. We cover topics ranging from real-time text communication for Slack, to designing our own toy load balancer, to Greek buzzes live text commentary, to doing impressions counting at scale for any advertisement business. In all, we would cover roughly 28 questions and the detailed curriculum uh, split week by week can be found on the course page which is linked in the description down below. So if you are looking to learn system design, from the first principles, you will love this course. I have two offerings for you. The first one is the live cohort based course which you see on the left side and the second one is the recorded course which you can see on the right side. The live cohort based course happens every two months and it will go on for eight weeks while the recorded course contains the recordings from one of the past cohorts as is. If you are in a hurry and want to binge learn system design, I would highly recommend you going for the recorded one. Otherwise, the live cohort is where you can participate and discuss things live with me and the entire cohort and amplify your learnings. The decision is totally up to you. The course details, prerequisites, testimonials can be found on the course page arpitbhairi.me slash masterclass and I would highly recommend you to check that out. I put the link of uh, the course in the description down below. So if you are interested to learn system design, go for it. Check out the link in the description down below and I hope to see you in my next cohort. So say in a distributed system, we have a node which is acting as a leader and then other nodes are actually following it. Now what could happen? That leader could go down. And if the leader goes down, we don't want an engineer to configure some other node to be the new leader. This has to be an automated process, which is where the leader election algorithm kicks in, where it helps us not to do this manual intervention and fix the system. With LCR algorithm, this is one of the simplest algorithm that you could think about. But it's very effective. Right? This algorithm it works in a synchronous mode. Synchronous mode means that every node which is participating in this election would know ki, hey, now my election is starting. Right? And this is what the synchronous mode is all about. That every node, it's not that nodes are pitching in their votes at their own time. That cannot happen. This starts and ends in a synchronous mode that everyone knows ki, hey, now it's first step, now it's second step, now it's third step and everyone is participating in it. Right? Another thing that this algorithm requires is no matter how the topology is structured, there should be a way through which the nodes, the nodes of this distributed system needs to know what's in its clockwise direction, like the immediate neighbor in the clockwise, in the clockwise direction, which means that it needs to form a unidirectional ring. It may hold some other information but this is the bare minimum that we expect that every node needs to know some node in its clockwise direction so that it can form a topological unidirectional ring right now this algorithm is so beautiful that it runs or it works even when we don't know the total number of nodes in the system we just know okay, hey this is a distributed system having some number of nodes which are connected via unidirectional ring but it does not in but it does not need every node to know the total number of nodes in the system. It's that beautiful of an algorithm that it's so simple that it does not need any additional information whatsoever. But there are a few assumptions that we start with. Right? Every node has a unique UID. It will be an integer or a bit string. If to be generic, it can be a bit string, but not a large enough. Every node has a unique identifier unique implying two nodes cannot have the same id and which is extremely important for this algorithm second is uids are comparable which means if you can do less than greater than on node uids that you have and every node knows its immediate clockwise neighbor 
this three assumptions is what we start with again we don't need any information about the total number of nodes in the system and this algorithm still works right now let's take a look at this algorithm what this algorithm is all about so in this algorithm every single node so as soon as someone detects that hey leader is down and that node triggers an election into the system now what would happen every single node because it's synchronous every single node would know that the leader is down and everyone knows that hey now the leader election process begins right so given that every single node participates in this election and every single node which is itself to be the new leader like when the leader is down every single person of the gang says hey i want to be the new leader right so here everyone's pitching in the pitch is very simple it's just a message so every node creates a message with its own uid and send it to its neighbor because that's the bare minimum expectation that we have every node knows its clockwise neighbor bare minimum expectation so what every node would do is it would pitch itself which means that it would create a message with its own uid in it and send it to the neighbor that hey i would want to participate in this election and i want to be the new leader right now what a node would do when it receives a message from its neighbor so when a node receives a uid from its neighbor it compares the incoming uid with its own uid now what it would do is it would say hey i have some uid let's say i have uid 9 and my incoming uid is 3 now what would happen it would compare the incoming uid with its own uid and would check so if incoming uid is greater than own uid right so let's say i, I am 9 and i received a message from 3 that three wants to be leader i i know that i want to be the leader so now what it would do if if your incoming uid is less than your own uid you would discard incoming uid because hey you are smaller or you are younger don't do you you cannot do that right so you would discard the message coming from a node whose uid is lesser than yours but if yours is greater or oh sorry if the if the incoming uid is greater than your own uid which means that hey you were 9 but you received message from let's say 18 so 18 is greater than 9 so now what you would do is you would forward the uid to your neighbor so you would say ki hey i received this message from 18 i am 9 so i am forwarding 18 to my neighbor right so this way the larger the uid the more it would go around the ring right and if if i receive the message from alex so i receive a message with my own uid because you as a node you are forwarding your candidate to your immediate neighbor but if it survives the entire ring and it comes back to you which means that you have the highest uid given that you have the highest uid you declare yourself as the leader right so here what would happen is because every single node is participating the message by the largest uid will survive the ring because everyone is forwarding the message with the highest uid right if it is greater than its own uid it is just forwarding it so the node with the highest uid's message would be surviving the entire ring and would be coming back to the originating node and when that happens it would know that hey i started like i have like the node would know that hey i have the largest uid which means that i am the new leader and now this node would then announce this through another message relaying into this network that hey i am the new leader going forward so what this algorithm does it basically says that the new leader is the one whose node whose node uid is the largest as simple as that and the way it does this it basically takes this message and forwards it in like every single node in this uh, distributed system participates in it creates a message pitches itself sends it uh, basically sends it to its immediate neighbor and the neighbor then basically relays it if it is the incoming uid is larger than its own uid right so this way the only message that would survive would be from the node that has the largest uid and given that that node the message comes back to the originating node and it would know ki hey i have the largest uid and i'll be the leader right and this is a very simple leader election algorithm called lcr right and now when would this process stop 
right? because in a distributed system the most important part is to know when to stop so halting like when would this algorithm halt it's very simple there is no way for a node to know that the election is over right only the leader would know that hey now my message came back to me again which means that uh, now we know that the only the new leader would know that it is the new leader and would know that hey now it's time to stop the election so the new leader because you don't know the total count there is no for loop which is running for n times so that's where the only the new leader can tell ki hey now this is going to stop now i am the new leader so halt the election so the new leader when it knows that hey i am the new leader because it received its own message it would create another message and send ki hey and would announce itself to be the new leader in the system and that's how every single node halts the election process right so when they receive this report message that hey i am the new leader they all <coughs> every node halts the election process they store the new leader information locally and forwards the message to his immediate neighbor so the bare minimum was the assumption that we are making is every node only knows about its neighbor to its immediate right or in the clockwise direction where this is the they may know other nodes but this is the bare minimum expectations that we are making so that's where when a new leader announces the message would be sent to the node next to it it would halt the election process on its own and then stores this information that hey this is the new leader and forwards the message to the next node this way the entire ring would know that hey this is the new leader and the election process would stop clearly see that the complexity of this system every node pitches itself the mess and every node forwards whatever incoming message it got if incoming uid is greater than this the worst case of this the number of messages is n square because every node is doing it the message is sent to every node to the next so worst case is n square where every node is forwarding every message to the next node unless it basically disappears to the node before that so the worst case complexity the number of messages the compute in it is basically called as communication complexity the number of messages exchanged here the number of messages exchanged would be order of n square because every node is not just receive is, is sending the message for its candidature it's receiving message from its from its previous neighbor right and the messages survive from from the previous neighbors as well so the overall communication complexity is order of n square which might be problematic when your uh, distributed network is large but for a smaller distributed network this would work just fine one more reason why communication complexity is important because if you are exchanging large number of messages what would happen is your network can get congested congested with respect to the constant movement of packages operating at the network layer so you, any algorithm in distributed systems is always designed in a way to keep the communication complexity bare minimum this has order n square worst case communication complexity works very well for smaller network might not be good enough for the larger one right but yeah this is what its amortized analysis is fine so yeah that's it this was a very simple intuitive lcr algorithm for leader election now you see how people think when they write distributed algorithms and this is what i just take baby steps at 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 every time you are moving forward in time just take the bare minimum baby step that you could think of and you would have a very nice robust distributed systems algorithm at hand so yeah that's it that's it for this video if you guys like this video give this video a massive thumbs up if you guys like the channel give this channel a sub i post three in depth engineering videos every week and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot